Welcome back to JoJo Bizarre Adventure Anime Review. Excuse me. Episode number 50. Wow, another another series basically. Not only another series, but also another anime review series where each episode 50. Yeah, we're still using Stone Ocean here. Now, for Stone Ocean... What I'm doing right now is simply this. I am basically just reviewing just the second batch episodes. I'm going to go from 13 to basically 24 Snow Ocean. And I'll stop and head back to Stronger. That's the deal with this one. We're discussing the first four episodes of this batch episodes. And these chapter, these episodes roughly cover, from the manga, chapters... Excuse me. Uh, they come mostly from 51 to about 65. Yeah, that's pretty much what happens in these episodes. The first two episodes deal with a character known as Sports Sportsmax. Sportsmax is the guy who killed er Irma's sister, Gloria. And throughout these two episodes, basically, we deal with him. He was set up at the, at, the, at the end of episode 12. Here, we finally pay him off. Basically, have a quick two-parter. Deal with it, though, the manga, this is actually about eight chapters. But it's the anime. They, the David Studio loves doing this. So, drag the guy down. You have, jo you have Jolene, basically. Before, before we start off here, we have sort of a flash forward start off here in the first episode. Where we see Jolene thrown into a cell. And she's, like, bloodied. And this is kind of like a tease of what will have happened after... This it won't be followed up with until, like, they won't get back to this until the end of episode, uh, until the end of the very next episode. So basically, where we follow him, and of course they, we have Irma fighting him for a while, and of course also an alligator nearby. Yes, an alligator. Yeah, apparently Spores Max ability is bring back dead corpses. Ends up eating people, and of course, uh, one of the who she basically gets her leg bitten off by this alligator. And they think the course Sports Max and freaking drain which he drowned there. And eventually is taken care of by Irma when she, when they're in the prison graveyard. Now normally you think a prison graveyard would be outside of the prison. Not underground like this. This I thought it was kind of weird. Yeah, I thought this is quite odd basically to have a a door that leads into like the room has the the dead bodies, and of course, basically that he is defeated by Irma after he uses her ability to split her brain, so puts back her own head and fixes that, and eventually he's finally defeated. And of course, who comes in helps him out though. It's only Jolene throwing into sort of like this dismay ring, and this basically. By the way, the whole fight with Sports Mac, it starts episode 13, wraps up in episode 14. Oh, before I continue here, the episodes basically these are, are episodes 165 to 168. Yeah, and then pretty much you have Jolene transferred, what was the cell transferred to? Where was it in? The, a special maximum security wing. Yep. Where Jolene is there, and he spends the next two episodes, though... First two of a few episodes probably could be things I haven't got further than this. So, basically, what's going on here with her is that she is here and she's here for quite a while, and eventually, like, she apparently has been sleeping in the dark the whole time, no light, very light, like I'm blind to her, and of course they kind of wake her up by a bit, and of course she dares to stand up. So the guards proceed to hose her off with a freaking hose, and before we continue here, we have a flashback. Where the chaplain is talking to Dio Brando a couple times. Now, I love these flashbacks. <clears throat> Excuse me, because Dio, Dio gives a lot of info here. And from what I can tell, I, I thought, they, I got, it's been a while since I read the manga. I think he just showed up just the first episode with his flashback. But no, we continue to show up in the flashbacks and give high praise Patrick Saltz for continuing to play the character. 
and my gosh, he has such a, some, some really good dialogue. He does display about the weakest stand. Basically, it's also the stand we see for these two episodes. The survivor. Because I think it's a shock able to be angry. It doesn't, it's not a good fighting ability. Not really, no. So, excuse me. Somehow, basically, that the going to the guards basically gets this and excuse me, is wet, and of course he gets, like, just slightly brushed by his fellow guard. So basically, they proceed to beat the crap out of each other. He has explained the flashback that, apparently, the, the guy with the survivor stand, he apparently drove six people crazy because they made him angry, so basically got each other angry, so he to beat the crap out of each other, basically kill each other to death. Yeah, they killed each other. And after he's like, I won, he basically releases all the prisoners, who apparently are all stand users. He proceeds to have them all kill each other. And he fights Jolene for the next couple episodes. Yeah, one line that I read, basically, that I can tell that they cut the cuts, is apparently he has he would have no problem with Jolene grab his groin. When, and, of course, it involved many different fighting. Yes, where she gets clipped by meteorites. Yes, because apparently that's his actual stand power. Fights for quite a while. At one point, she uses her, her stand build to nearly, and I'm like, oh my gosh, rips off, like takes, like he does stuff, like trying try to rip her, basically his foot apart. I'm like, ow, that freaking hurt. That would freaking hurt if it basically happened to me. Like, oh my gosh, like I'm not really gonna describe what the heck Jolie does to him because it's weird. So. Eventually, at one point, she moves his boot and throws a brick in it and throws a meteorite in it and eventually defeats him. And when the guy defeated him, that's it for that. Though this leads into next thing reveals there's actually uh, four standing years here were sent by, of course, I I Ikio. Yes. But still, four really good episodes. I'm definitely enjoying it. And I'm going to pretty much end it here because it's getting really late. I just really want to do this to get this out of the way. So. I'll probably get a chance to do more videos tomorrow. I was hoping to get some anime done tonight, but that pretty much the case. Because I had to go out to eat tonight. But hopefully tomorrow we get everything done. Okay, next video tomorrow. Bye.